Hi, Jaden. So I'm inside, guys. I'm about to start cleaning up my house. And I thought I would show you guys how I clean my house. So let me just show you. Take a look, guys. are not gonna believe what has happened okay so I'm here steady cleaning my house and Jaden comes home from school and he's upset he is upset he says that a kid that he's playing with at school <coughs> excuse me is telling people he has a crush on a girl that he no longer has a crush on and he straight dropped the n-bomb on him and is trying to say that Jaden called him a name as well. And it's funny because this same child was creating a problem for Jaden before. And I said to Jaden, don't get mad, don't get upset. Just now you see how he's moving, you just stay away. Because when people show you who they are, they mean it, believe them. And I said that to Jaden and it's funny enough, a couple of months later, he wants to play with him again and when he started talking his name I was like Jaden I don't think this is a good idea that you play with him but because they're kids you know they're not adults they they don't hold vendettas they don't have not that he should but you know they want to play they want to play so of course I let it go sure enough today Jaden comes in singing a song that I didn't even want to hear about this same kid and he's now taken it one step further to go and call him the n-word N so it's just funny that this happened because one Jaden was so upset he was crying he's like really really angry and I said to him don't even get upset don't even get mad there's gonna be all types of people in the world all kinds of people in the world and they will be there to test your patience every day. If you allow yourself to be angry, if you allow yourself to let it ruin your day, you will be ruined. Those people, they want you to come home, they want you to cry, they want you to sit on your bed in your room and just destroy your entire day. They don't want you to play outside. I, I sound like DJ Khaled right now. They don't want us, <laughs> what does he say? They don't want us to have nice things, okay? And I just went on this whole rant with Jaden right now, telling him how he needs to take this opportunity to learn how to control his anger. If he is upset, take a deep breath in, let it out. Figure out what's gonna make you okay and work with that. Let that be what you practice. If I'm upset, I need to stop and think, is this person trying to upset me? Do they mean it? Do they not mean it? Once you figure that out, your life is going to be a whole lot better, I promise you, because you're going to realize the people that have bad intentions and you are going to quickly and very, just quickly and accurately just shut them right off. You won't even be mad. Someone coming at you calling you the N-word, you don't even worry about it. Just cut, get as far away from them as possible. Don't even bother getting mad. There's going to be a bunch of people in the world, Jaden, a bunch that want to come for you. You can't control them. You can only control you. So when you get angry, know what it takes to diffuse your anger. Bring yourself to a positive place and react in a positive manner. Do not let them take you down to where they are. It is not a happy place there. Do you understand? It's really not a joke, Jaden. If you let these people upset you, you will be mad every second of every day. Okay, so when you get mad, you figure out what it is that is gonna calm your soul. And you find that place and you work with that place. You understand? So anyways, guys, I wanted to tell you this story because A, this is a situation that happens. I can't tell you how many times somebody has decided to drop the N-bomb and I had to really make some serious choices. 
And I always made sure that they were the positive choice. Do not retaliate to hate. It's, it's gonna get you nowhere. You show love and you show kindness and you figure out what it is within you to, to calm yourself down. I was just saying, I was actually just telling a story today about a woman in the store that was trying to test my patience. And you can get mad. It's okay to get mad. It's okay to be upset. It's okay to cry. But I just want you to make sure in your mind you're tapping in to that happy place that place that you know is happiness on the other side of it and find your way there as quickly as possible. And that usually involves getting away, moving away from whoever is causing you an issue, okay? And once people show you who they are, believe them, okay? Believe them. I'm not saying you can't forgive. I'm not saying you can't play with them again. I'm saying that now you know what can happen. Nine times out of 10, it's going to happen again. So if it happens again, and you choose to play with that person, don't be mad when it happens. You get you can't the first time it was a shock to you. The second time it is no longer a shock. You now know the potential of the situation. Okay. Are you okay? Do you know I love you? Yes. Do you know I want you to be okay? Yes. Good. I love you so much. Love you too. I'm going to finish cleaning now. Yeah.